Welcome back to a beautiful reflection in downtown Saskatoon. Lots of sunshine still at this hour in the city. A great day. It finally feels like spring. Dan Reinish is in now with his forecast. Dan, how's the weekend shaping up? The weekend is shaping up to be really great for half of the province and potentially less than great for the rest of Saskatchewan. Here's the last six hours as far as the satellite radar is concerned. And you can see a fairly clear Saskatchewan, which is why most of the province today, very sunny, very nice, very spring-like. Prince Albert got to nine degrees, trying to get to that 10, the first place to get to double digits so far this year. On the plus side, didn't quite make it. Now, let's go to the Weathermakers map. It's gonna show this system that's moving in. So you see fairly clear, their high pressure system move out. Watch this corner over here. One system moving up, another one moving over. They are going to join, and that potentially could mean some really nasty things through this weekend, especially Saturday night into Sunday. How nasty? Let's take a look at this special map that we put together for you. These precipitations, okay, so look at all of that. The darker the blue, the more snow. So Kindersley and your in trace amounts, Regina and Moosom in 5 to 10 centimeters, in Estevan and the Cypress Hills, 10 to 20 centimeters are possible, and in Swift Current and Assiniboia, you could get as much as 40 centimeters of snow Saturday night into Sunday. These are snowfall totals that are expected due to a storm system that is moving in. Yes, snow is coming again this weekend, but as far as Saskatoon, Prince Albert, North Battleford, most of central Saskatchewan, you'll be fine. But down here... Some nasty stuff coming our way. Plus, there's going to be winds from the northeast between 20 to 30 kilometers an hour. So if you have some traveling to do along the Trans-Canada Highway in the southwest part of Saskatchewan this weekend, keep an eye on the highway hotline. Let's take a look at Saskatoon this evening. Clear, mainly sunny tomorrow. Winds starting to die down to about 10 kilometers an hour, but they will be from the northeast. So here's your five-day forecast. Temperatures tomorrow about a third of what they were today. So some cloud tomorrow. Increasing cloud as the day goes on. Now, a mix of sun and cloud on Sunday. Even though Saskatoon is not going to get the majority of the storm system that I mentioned, there is a 30% chance of some flurries, so that's why I put it in there. Tuesday is when central Saskatchewan will get some storm system coming their way. 8 degrees on Wednesday. Now, let's take a look at Regina. Clear for the most part overnight. A mix of sun and cloud tomorrow morning. Then, as we go to the five-day forecast, increasing cloud into Saturday. The storm system starts Saturday night into Sunday. A mix of sun and cloud on Monday. A mix of sun and cloud with some more snow on Tuesday and 7 degrees and sunny on Wednesday. So the system is coming. Know about it. And also know that today is the last day for our Show Me Saskatchewan contest. The last day I'm giving out toques and mittens. And Amy in Weyburn gets the first set this evening. Here is a photo of Frosty the Snowman waving goodbye to a cold Saskatchewan winter on a farm no less. Amy, thank you very much for sending that photo in. You have a toque and mittens on their way to you, and you're entered in the grand prize. At the end of tonight's show, we'll be giving away an iPod Touch to everybody who sent a photo in. So if you haven't won yet, cross your fingers and good luck. And also remember, remember this email address, showmesaskatchewan at cbc.ca, because even though we won't have prizes every day, if you send in pictures of bad weather, you could still win a prize somewhere down the road. Here's our business numbers now.